Greetings and welcome to another Diablo 4 video. This time we are on the public test build. You can see it with the watermark right here and right here, which is kind of neat. Uh, it doesn't distract too much actually, but you can clearly see that it is the public test build. So nothing really is final, but the most things like won't change, I suspect. Maybe some number tweaking here and there based on feedback. So, uh, I was discovering like this incinerate build for the sorcerer and just wanted to share because I find it very, very amazing, especially since you have like now these three flamethrowers, <laughs> like three times incinerate. Uh, but let's get right into the uh, build. It's not optimized because like I don't have the materials right now on the test realm to uh, masterwork everything, to uh, temper everything to the correct stats so uh, take this with a grain of salt but you see here but in general like it is about the legendary aspects and like some paragons and just about the playstyle itself which is very very satisfying so let's get through it like you you want some of the defensive stats of course on your on your helmet on your armor uh then on your uh and as well like i'm opting for flame shield like for example here disobedience uh, i think here and then like something if mobilized wears up then enemies are also slowed so they reach me like not as quick as usual so just slow them down because you will be like standing here and just firing you will see in a second when we go into the gameplay so we need something that you know slows the enemy down and maybe even immobilize maybe even stuns them and it's for offensive aspects and you can see here uh, it's just like some lucky hit chance it's, it's pretty nice because it gives us the chance to immobilize uh, as you can see the skill tree in a, in a minute and then uh, you want uh, of course anything in the tempering that boosts your damage and again this is not the right <laughs> the right tempering or affixes right here i just slammed something on it uh, this is the gear that was given uh, by the uh, yeah by the character creation and the boost to 100 and then like, some movement speed on the boots, of course. Uh, and again, like for this aspect, offensive aspects, you want like this uh, engulfing flames. Then I have the flamethrowers, which is the new aspect onto the two-handed weapon, because then you actually do bonus damage. If you put it on like a um, uh, gloves or rings, for example, it is only, um, it does less than 100% of damage. But if you do it on a two-handed weapon or on the amulet, it does more than 100% of damage. And this is like a medium roll at uh, also this is very very nice and then uh, i have the <coughs> conflagration on the amulet because i mean incinerate is our main skill so we do more burning damage and then the enemies also explode and then i got some umbral here and then the control here for immobilization giving us more damage i actually need to switch one of these aspects i don't know yet uh, which one maybe you can give me a tip in the comments below to the hydra aspect because i am using hydras and i want to spawn three hydras uh, which uh yeah needs the aspect for the hydras you can look here i don't know what's called serpentine aspect so i was thinking maybe to replace the control or replacing umbra and see how it goes because i think we have enough uh, mana all the time and yeah that's basically the legendary aspects and the abilities uh, pretty straightforward we don't really need the basic skill but we need to put two points i think they should change that in the future maybe in the expansion or something there will be a, an overhaul of the skill tree i can imagine and then incinerate of course with destructive because this gives us a lot of survivability because you cannot prevent that the enemies will be up close to you unless you do like tons and tons of damage which i don't right now again not optimized uh, items and uh, so this gives you a lot of survivability. Otherwise, um, if you feel you are safe enough, you can go with greater incinerate actually for more immunization. And then devastation and elemental dominance to do even more damage along with like flame shield, teleport and frost no more. Frost no more is actually a point that just freed up. So you can actually also toy around maybe with ice armor, see what you like best. I'm going with the full hydra enhanced and summoned hydra for even more burning damage they're doing a decent amount of damage actually and then align the elements with mana shield and protection we could for example go uh, spec out a little bit out of here and then go with frost nova and make them like vulnerable or something uh, but for now i'm fine with that i'm not using frost nova that often actually and here inner flames and uh crippling flames just very very nice more damage and also the chance to mobilize on lucky hit 
Then I'm using Inferno with Prime and Supreme. It's a nice uh, spell to cast if there are a lot of enemies. It's really, really satisfying. And then I have all these passives because Fury Surge helps us with the mana generation. And then again, you need to see, do you need all that? Or is it enough mana that you have right now? We don't need the basic skill at all. That's why I, I really like this build. And then Soul Fire, Warmth for more survivability and Endless Fire for more damage. And then combustion for I mean this is the only really uh, yeah key passive that that fits here uh, more burning more damage uh, because this is for us it is like very focused on critical strike damage and incinerate does not crit strike which is really infuriating when you look at the legendary nodes in the Paragon board because they are all like around revolving around crit and crit damage but we don't want that with incinerate. So maybe they can tweak something here, uh, but we have Territorial to, for more uh, damage reduction. We have um, uh, Warding for also re taking reduced damage. Uh, less mana you have, I mean, again, like need to see, um, do we really um, lose that much mana? I actually liked it because it enhances these rare glyphs, which gives me damage to burning enemies and damage reduction from burning enemies. So this is really, really cool. And this enhance system and then i got the burning instinct here and as i said like this increases the burning damage by a percentage of our critical strike damage bonus which we actually don't really want that much of because we are um not critting with incinerate we are critting with the hydras though so it's still okay uh, it also gives us a uh, plus uh, multiplicative damage for every 25 intelligence we have so that's still nice we should pick up these rare nodes, damage reduction from burning enemies, damage to burning enemies, because they will all be burning all the time. Then I went to Enchantment Masters, because I just like the enchantments, and it is um, pretty nice rare nodes as well here, damage, uh, non-physical damage. And I got the Pyromaniac, I think this is uh, pretty self-explanatory, it just, uh, yeah, gives us more fire damage, right? And then moving up until here, I got the Elemental Summoner. I'm not really sure if this is the right choice, but it feels pretty nice so far. Um, isn't a, a huge damage bonus, um, but it is not bad because we're actually actively using Hydras all the time. Not using all the Conjurations, of course, but this will uh, boost our damage of the Hydras, which are uh, yeah pretty, pretty uh, nice to have. We're not only doing incinerate damage. Although sometimes I forget to cast uh, the Hydras, but uh, you will see that probably in the gameplay section. And here I use the Searing Heart board, but I'm not going through to Searing Heart because again, like this is more based on increased critical strike chance and increased uh, direct damage, which we're not really doing. We're doing more burning damage. So I just uh, went and got the Glyph and I actually got these rare nodes here, which we don't really have the willpower dexterity for. Uh, so this is something to optimize as well, but we get damage reduction from burning enemies again and plus fire damage and crit strike damage which should give us uh, plus damage uh, right here in burning instinct and the glyph here is torch which gives us just more damage per nearby burning enemy and everybody is burning all the time so there you go and i guess that's it and i already talked for like eight minutes again and uh, yeah explaining a build is <laughs> pretty uh, a lot in diablo 4 and we don't even have the seasonal mechanic yet so there you go. Let's go into the, some gameplay. We are in the tier 61 nightmare damage, not the highest, but again, like this is like just, you know, very unoptimized gear, just some stats and everything, which of course, you know, you cannot push the highest nightmare dungeon. I believe, I believe this has a lot of potential if you optimize it. But for the most part right now, it's just very satisfying to really be a triple flamethrower and burn everything. Also, Flame Shield can be used offensively because it does a decent chunk of damage. And you can see I'm sometimes forgetting to cast the Hydras. We are stationary, which comes with a bit of a downside, of course. But, um, due to the uh, enhanced incineration, which says that any enemy that is burned by incinerate does 30% less damage, 
And all the damage reduction we have stacked up through our passive and through our paragons, you can see we're actually not taking a lot of damage. Actually not taking a lot of damage. We can actually stand and take it. And that's pretty cool. Let's see here, we need another Silk Conspire. I don't know, I think this Nightmare Dungeon does not have any... Ooh. So, here you can just ultimate or Flame Sheet. I did both, out of a little bit of panic, I guess. And yeah, the poison damage is still a lot. Although we are maxed on Poison Riz. And it's just these poison guys are... Nasty. Oh yeah, this is with the Queen's stand, so there will be a boss in the middle. So we can see how good it is against boss. I'm actually a bit unsure if you can make it so that all three of your flamethrowers um, are doing damage. As far as I observe, you can you you you're not doing triple damage. You cannot shotgun. But I might be wrong on that. Because if we go close up, it, it seems like it's, it just takes the same amount of time to kill an enemy. Oh my god! What's happening here? Five treasure goblets! Wow! That's amazing. Give me all the loot! i never seen that in uh, the current version of the game. Clip that. That was cool. Ah, where's the third still conspire? Yeah, Nightmare Dungeons are still the same. Um, you still need to do them for the Glyph XP. There is a new um, positive aspect. You can see here Ancestral Awakening. You earn 20% more Glyph experience at the end of this dungeon. And there's only one negative aspect now. Affix. Affix. Nightmare Dungeon Sigil Affix. And it has here... Elites always have the Poison Enchanted Affix. And then there's like a bug missing Affix name, whatever. But I believe for now... The uh, Sigils only have two affixes, one positive or negative, which is very, very good. It's also better for, for readability, legibility, because you only have to look out for that one nasty one that you don't like, and maybe then salvage it, or just look out for the good one, because I feel like the bonus affixes are also better now. But this build is pretty chill and might be my build for Season 4. I was planning on playing a Necromancer, actually. But... Oof. This is enticing, huh? Again, the only thing I don't like is in the in the Paragon board, um, the legendary notes say, like, they are um, working with crit strike damage. And we're not critting with Incinerate, so... Let's cast some Hydras. As you can see, and I think it doesn't matter if we're standing closer. Uh, maybe it, it does seem that we are doing more damage if we're standing closer. It would make sense. Boom. There you go. And we get some distilled water, a sigil. So there's different rewards now. And we got these worldly endurance. I think we already have that. Let's see. No, we don't. Wow. Okay. And yeah. You can see these sigils have like two affixes. Huh? Extra shrines right here and then suppressor. It's really, really uh, way more easier to read. And our glyphs are all maxed out. But that's about it. That's the Incinerate Flamethrower build. I hope you liked this kind of video. And if you did, just like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what's your favorite build out of the public test build, the first public test build of Diablo 4. I'll see you in the next one. Good luck, have fun, and goodbye.